Welcome back to the Sentai Review, the show that strolls naked into the living room and pronounces proudly, I pay my rent. Damn right I do. <laughs> I'm William Bush, Rep. Lloyd Bill. Seth Lovell, Saria. Scott Action Jackson. Shane McCree, Proto Guy. And he's sick. He's sick. I yeah, apologize. He's, he's a bit under the weather. I was going to sound a lot like this as we do the show. I apologize. You know what's sad is he's sick, but he still kind of has more energy than he normally does when he comes over. You notice that? Yeah. yeah. He think... seems a little more awake now that he's sick. I got sleep. Maybe he should stay sick. <laughs> <laughs> you mean like that cold that you've had might, since you were three? Might slowly dissolve the Shane nap. <laughs> I took medication. I'm good. <laughs> it's the medication. Hey, guys, I know you're about to get your podcast on, so I'll be quick. If at any time you feel like dropping your own opinion into what we're talking about, head on over to FandomNight.com and all of the contact information for every single one of our shows, including the one you're about to watch, is there. All right, guys, I'll leave you alone. It's yeah, that's why he's awake. It's a good thing you took medication because today, Shane, and it's going to be quite the treat with the way you're speaking, <clears throat> you get to say this. This is where we are, Shane. 1992. 92 Robos. Shane Butcher's names. Redo. Oh, you can do but then it went. Then it. Then it was Shane. The people don't tune in for silence. <laughs> <laughs> tune in to an hour of silence. <laughs> if they wanted to tune in to an hour of silence, they could watch my depression live streams, where I sit and play <laughs> shit like Resident Evil. Kyo Ryu Sentai Zoot Rangers. All Here right, Rangers. Shane. Here we are. We're starting on the Guardian Beast Tyrannosaurus. Yep. Doop a doop 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 a doop doop doop. That guy. That's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yes. Yes, it is. Which is sad because isn't this one of the first times we've actually looked at each individual Robo? Um, the weird thing is with this one on, a lot of the different forms do have different names. So the Tyrannosaurus by itself is one name. The, I guess, trio of some is another name. And it goes on like that. So then you're telling me you didn't get the individuals. Like we're not going to look at the saber tooth and no. stuff like that? No, this is the only separate one like that is the Tyrannosaurus. Well, to be fair. I guess the only reason I can say that that makes a little bit of sense is because on their own, the other Zords don't seem to do anything. And in our series, really, you only see the, the T-Rex actually fight alone. Well, even in their series, there's like, sometimes the Mastodon will run into something or throw ice breath, but for the most part, it is always the Tyrannosaurus. He's a fighting Zord by himself, and the rest are kind of support. They are. Super fighting robo. I mean, remember, the, remember, remember, remember that the um, Triceratops can shoot its horns and trap you with its horns. Yep, and if it shot its horns, I would grab those chains and whip it around like a cat by the tail. Oh, don't worry, we'll get to that. Next. I think it looks awesome. Anybody who's watched our series knows what this looks like. Yeah, this it's is It's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is it coming out from lava slash volcano slash wherever the fuck it comes out of. Oh, well, the ground opens up. Yeah. yeah. In the series, they put their hands up and then like... Okay. Wait, no. In their okay, series, this is weird. it come from the sky? Y yes, and it comes from the ground. <laughs> Every now and then, he'll put his hands up, and the ground will split open. Crack. And then, like, it'll come up like... Wasn't, it you, wasn't it you that said that when the Tyrannosaurus comes out of, the, the, out of that, that, that crack? Isn't that it's, like, when it was dying? <laughs> yes, it does also die. They play that footage backwards. Yeah, they and they show it dying that way. So sometimes it comes out of the ground, sometimes it jumps off of a cloud in the sky, and then when it dies, it the ground opens up in reverse and it gets kind of pulled. And they just play the footage backwards. Wow. Next. Next. And here's a bit of 
I like thing. I like how this thing looks. I mean, it is legitimately just a red Tyrannosaurus. Yeah, even with the small little hands. Next. And a silver stripe. Oh, well, his yeah, arms, see, it actually fought monsters by his itself. His arms are a little bit bigger because, obviously, he's grabbing that dude. Some of the nipple pinching carried over. <laughs> <laughs> pinchy, pinchy. Next. And next. And that. Okay, we're done with that guy. Go ahead, Shane. Rate that guy. Oh, man. Rate the Tyrannosaurus. Oh, wait, right. I need a really, tabulational. I really, Duh. I really feel like this is biased. need to stop opinion. putting my phone in my but, back pocket. A lot of this is going to be this biased. Is a, this is a tough series because this is the one that we all started with. I almost feel like we're opening the floodgates here by even putting him... At the start of the episode, makes me feel like we're gonna end up going back through the robos and discussing the individuals one by one. Yeah, I that's know. not necessarily a bad thing. I said before it, that I think that with this show, we accidentally opened a floodgate that we weren't necessarily expecting. Because, <laughs> man, so far we're poised to talk about the common rider stuff, the masked rider stuff. We're set to talk about the bad guys of every series. We're set to talk about the uh, individual Zords. We're set to talk about the uh, individual weapons of each team. And every single so we time... we get to go back to Giant Fan and Tonka Truck Hands? Every single time we talk about something, it seems to open up something else that we got to do. Like, like uh, we did the Henshin for... or Morph, and then... Possibly the openings. Now, yeah. Now that we're done with those, we've got to think uh, of a way to do the openings, we're not and we've got to think of a way because we got to go back to the Henshin or Morph and do Henshin from, from 1975 yeah. to 1991. The ones that we never got here yeah. in America. Yeah, I'm just we're gonna and watch just those more. Well, there's them, ones yeah. in between there too, like yeah. GoBusters. We didn't get here, which is weird because in the GoBusters, they literally say it's morphin time, kind of throwing a. Uh, a thumbs up to us, and then in return, we were like, fuck, fuck you. you. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, how, that's exactly. That's how we do it here in America. <laughs> but for me, it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex, so I'm going to give it a four because I have biased opinions, and it's a big dinosaur. You would give it a four. It's, it's, a, it's a simple design, but it still works. Okay. Keep stroking it. <laughs> well, we haven't even begun to stroke it. Four. <laughs> okay. Come on, guys. Fucking ride the fandom bus. We're called. We drive the fandom bus, <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> we are literally fandom night. Knights <laughs> of fandom. I was Fucking a, eat a bag of dildos, I was just guy. About, I was just about to say Serrano so. dildos. <laughs> Three point seven. Four. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I fucking thought. You cocksucker. Shane's face was magnificent. That's not even fair. How much shit I just got. Oh uh, shit! All right. Three point nine three. Okay, we are on the Dino Tracker, right? Dino. Tra Dino tanker. tanker. Yeah, Dino Tanker. Ta Dino Tanker. Do, 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 boop, do. Oh, shit. Dude, oh, it's this mode. Oh, I love fun. this thing. Yeah, and so this do was I. Stage before Let me it. just say, when, uh, when I was growing up, I did not realize it literally until I rewatched this series the last time I watched the DVDs. I never realized that the pterodactyl is perched on top of the tank. For some reason, my eyes never caught the fact that the bird was sitting up there. Oh. Well, thank you for no, pointing cause, cause thank you, for you never pointing noticed it either? either? I'm yeah. not the only one. Thank you for pointing no, it out. No, I noticed it. That freaking bird is lazier it always, than shit. It always felt weird to me that, like, the pterodactyl would be perched on top, and then as soon as it would go into the actual robo form, it would, like, pull the elephant off the chest to be the shield, which it almost never used. To yeah. Be, to be fair. But then, like, the bird would, like, have to fly away, so that way then, like, the wings could become the chest plate. Yep. And then it was like, yep. yeah. Well, if you look Why? At, if you look at this picture, I, you know, the, 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 the Triceratops and the saber-toothed tiger, like, are, like, the wheels, basically. They're moving them. 
Yeah. Like, like a tank. And a mastodon is the cannons, while the other two are just lazy and don't do nothing. Well, the, the Tyrannosaurus no. part is the, the part of the main part. If well, all the parts, if all the parts still function the same way, then I'm. And this is just this is just ridiculous speculative theory because even in their show, the tank was barely ever used. Yeah. But in theory, if I was to use the tank, I would have access to an ice blast from the uh, from my chest. I would have access to like I could shoot out these two. Cannons. The two no the the two the horns the horns I could shoot out the right. horns and trap you yeah. then blast a bunch of ice at you aim my cannons dead center and fire blowing you into shrapnel oh. like it'd be, be like fair. a sub zero finishing to move. Be fair, I don't know how that would work from Super and Nintendo, not it, Sega. Uh, since it's again, his, since it's his left leg or the left side is the tri- the triceratops. <laughs> when you go to chain somebody, you're gonna be at, you're gonna be at that weird. Like angle. No, I just shoot them and then I kind of skid around them because somehow the tank did move really fast too. Think, yeah. think of the at at fight in uh, episode uh, five, Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, they got to fly and then they shoot the tow cable and they go around. Grab oh, the yeah, they go around. And, and because the Tyrannosaurus is on top, he had that uh, sonic wave breath. Yeah. It would open his mouth and shoot it at the ground, and it would cause all that eruption. Yeah. Yeah. In the series I watched. So the tank could have been really formidable, but it does, like, yeah. it basically drives. I think I, it shoots every now and I then, and seen, then it stands up. I remember, yeah. I only remember one episode where they, ma- they made the tank, and they fought the monster, and they killed the monster in the tank mode once. But you're talking, this was years ago when I watched this show. Yeah, because they used the tank, like, in our series, like, I think three times. Like, the second episode, the third episode, and, like, the fifth episode. And then eventually... But it never actually really did much other than, I think, like, the second episode. Like you said, they form the tank, and then they're like, shoot the monster. Monster kills over dead, and they're like, yay, we did it. And then Zordon's like... One of these days, you're going to need to actually form the Megazord. And it's like, I so, thought that was the Megazord. No. It no. Can make it stand up. <laughs> they were like, yes, this tank is really useful and powerful, Zordon. Do not use that again. Yeah. Zordon, it makes no sense. This thing is really powerful. It doesn't have to make sense. It doesn't have a sword. <laughs> Zordon, that's going to get old. You can't keep using that as a freaking... <laughs> that's going to get old. Actually, as long as we're doing this, we're going to keep using that. Yeah. <laughs> Look, we only had the actual actor for Zordon for like a day, so apologize. we're going to keep using that. I apologize for the horrible thing I'm about to say, but we're going to milk pervy Zordon for everything he's worth. Uh... <laughs> Oh. You're lucky I'm an adult uh, because um, I need an adult. Next, but I am no, adult. you're you're lucky next. that he's interdimensional because that means you can't go oh, to a different dimensional uh, to milk him. Oh another dimensional. And that's something else dimension. I never noticed. They did. I can't speak. Wow, that that's weird. How that's on there. Yeah, that um, does look really strange. It looks now that like I'm looking he's at it. Um, getting them from behind. Like, His see the toy. Are. The toy doesn't quite look like that. When I formed the tank. Right. Yeah. Because I never noticed this. Unless I've that, always been making him wrong, but his knees are what plug in. To the back of the yeah. uh, saber tooth. And, and it seems like he's kind of standing up. That's what it seems like. I never noticed that his tail just kind of like drags. drags the ground. Right. We're learning new Well, things. I suppose if he needs to make a sharp turn, dig that motherfucker in and angle it. <laughs> Regardless, I've always liked the tank. It was a new yeah. next. There we go. Here's yeah, there's the, the toy. Figures. Oh wow! No, see, maybe I've always made my tank wrong because he's standing up right there too. To be fair, I never made the tank when I had the toy. I just made the mega sword. Oh, I I do. <laughs> okay, lately yeah. I don't make the tank because uh, the the little guns. I've lost the guns. I don't know what happened. I don't know where they went. They used to be on the mastodon, and somehow I've lost the guns. So wait, wait, aren't they? Part of the mastodon? No, no they're connected to they the connect, mastodon. They but yeah, they go them. into the feet. The feet actually have round holes that you can plug yeah. the guns into. Yeah, because that will eventually turn in. You can switch those out, and it'll be his fist. Yeah, because I'm I'm looking at Bill's display right now, and sadly the Megazord isn't up there. He's got the fucking uh, the. It, uh, yeah, it's because it's over there. Yeah, the Megazord has been moved over to the coffee table because ah. he's he's missing a couple. So parts. yeah, you. Well, you probably can't see it, because I can see it from where I'm sitting in my chair. Well, but, yeah, most of these like people have trouble right seeing sound. 
<laughs> not the people. I'm talking to Scotty. <laughs> but yeah, yeah like if you were to get up right now and look, you can actually see, see there's like a round hole that you could put the uh, guns into. Yeah. But regardless, it's I want the legacy Megazord they released because he's he's die cast metal, and he looks really amazing, and he has a lot he moves a lot better. But I went looking for him, and I think the only way I'm going to get him is I have to order him offline. I, I think my I think the ship has sailed. He never came to Toys R Us for some reason. Like don't they I could have sworn I seen him that one day. There's a special one at Toys R Us that's black and gold. But it's not the one I want. That, I want the die cast silver, before, actual full paint job. Huh? They used to be a uh, yeah. Because I know Comic-Con that that one exclusive. day when I went to uh, Toys R Us, I can't remember if they had just the Dragon Zord and then the White Tiger. Because I know I picked you up the White Tiger because yes. I knew you didn't have it. You bought me the White Tiger. I found the Dragon Zord there, and so far I've bought the Dragon Dagger and the uh, the Saba, yeah. which oh, and the Morpher. And I, man, I had to walk away from it. Yeah. But I saw the regular Morpher there that has the other five coins that I'm missing. And then I saw something that I was like, you bastards. I don't need that. But just because it's a different color, now you make me want the shit out of that. They're selling the movie Morphers. So there's a white Morpher, Uh, a red Morpher, a blue Morpher, a pink pink Morpher, Morpher, a yellow Morpher, a black Morpher. Mm-hmm. And you could get all of them, and they'd all have their own color and their own coin. Nice. And hey. unlike unlike the morphers that we had here, I think there's some more writing on them. It, it, it looked really cool, and I was like, you bitches. Because yeah. I got the gold morpher, I need the silver morpher. I almost feel like that's an episode we haven't done that we should... I think it's on the pile list as the don't, morphers and don't, stuff. Don't forget. No, I, I was just talking Bill, collectible stuff. Bill, don't forget yeah. about the Falcon. They have the Falcon now. They released him. I saw him. Yeah. I saw the Thunder Megazord, and I said, sweet. Then I picked it up, and I was like, no, and I had to put it back. <laughs> when you saw the price. They were asking 200, like 210 bucks. Yeah, Bill, because yeah I can believe the, that. Because you have the Tiger Zord, if you do get that, you can make one ridiculous-sized Zord. And I do yeah. want it, but that's a lot of money to spend on a friggin' toy. Because yeah, no. That I'm not even going to play with. It's literally just going to sit Just going to sit the there, yeah, I Maybe know. if I was still a kid and I was going to get, you know, a thousand-plus hours of play out of it, maybe I'd be really... Really excited really for that. Really yeah. So, but like I said, when I picked you up the uh, white tiger. No, my dad, my dad would have never spent $200. He did buy yeah, me a no Sega shit. Genesis, so don't misunderstand me. But a a plastic Megazord, if you, if you would have seen a price tag of 200 bucks, he'd have been like, no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The only reason why my old man went out of his way to get the uh, movie Megazord was because I wanted it, my brother wanted it, my sister wanted it. Yeah, but so those he got were only the like... Gun. Like, right, he got right, right. all the weapons to make the gun and shit, and then got the fucking giant Megazord, because he's like, here, Merry Christmas to everybody. Wait, yeah, wait, but they were, they were the, the only like... The original version? Yeah, they were only uh, like 60 so, yeah. bucks. The, the crappy looking version. No, no, not the shit version. Well, those plastic like, the one ones that are actually was from the, from from the, the legacy show. one. Okay. Yeah. The legacy ones are legitimately... Because you say movie, and I assume the shitty movie one. Well, the legacy the yeah. legacy ones are very different. Oh, I did see that they released the uh, the Ninja Zord in the Legacy Collection also now. But uh, the legacy ones are made from die-cast metal, and they're they're kind of heavy, and they're, they're a lot more detailed than what we got. Yeah. Like, a lot more detailed. For those prices, they better be. So do we next? Yeah, we'll yeah next. we might as well, yeah. From oh, view. look at that. There's a tank. It's like, hi, guys. I'm going to shoot you. Yeah, like all these little stickers that you had to put on this guy, like for the Tyrannosaurus on his head, and right across the top here with the with the chest plate and all that, all of that is just die-cast metal painted right in the box. There's no decals that you need for the new one. Yeah. Next. Oh, back. Okay. So, diner, Dino Tanker. All right, Shane. Uh, four. You would. If you give it another four, <laughs> I will slap you. Four point one. Oh! Price is right, motherfucker. 
Yeah, I'm not thinking straight because <laughs> of the under the weather. But yeah, I was winning that. I'm just gonna go three point nine. Gosh dang it! <laughs> yes, Bill. <laughs> Staring deeply into Shane's eyes. This is gonna be an awkward like ten seconds of silence for him. Um, uh. All right, Bill's gonna give it a stare, so I don't can't put <laughs> give it a four. <laughs> oh, give it a four. Oh, well then I didn't even need a calculator. It's a four. Okay, so Wait, I, I gave what's this next though? one, Shane? Yeah, and I gave it a four point one. Oh, okay, so that e- equates to a four. I know how to math and shit. Why do you guys do this to me? Because <laughs> <laughs> Shane Butcher's name. Diuzin? Dizugen. Dizugen? Yep. All right. That's what they called their Megazord. Well. I think it roughly translates into something like a sacred beast or some shit like that. Would make sense. They were sacred beasts in their series. Come forth. Translation app. Can't remember. It's something... I used to know. It's something about... Saint beasts or sacred beasts or something like that. Well, this thing is. Uh, it wants a lower. F- this fist is. Bump. This I would give this one a fist bump. I mean, this is the one that we started with. This was our Megazord. You know, this is the first one we ever seen. You know, this was the first one we seen, but also I don't know if they just hit a hell of a stride with this one, or what. But I don't think it's just nostalgia because. I also grew up with uh, with some of the other Ranger shows, and I don't care for their Zords. And even now, I see Zords today where I'm like, that's really cool. And then the next show will come out, and I'm like, oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. There's gonna, there's nothing cool about the Turbo ones. You, you, mean, like the, <laughs> you mean like the present Sentai uh, pixelated Zords? <laughs> oh, yeah, you mean the Minecraft Zord. Yeah. Now, you look at this, and, you know... <laughs> With it all together, you know, you all know that, you know, now, now, now you can see that the chess piece is legitimately the pterodactyl, the arms of the mastodon, the legs. There you go. The legs still make... Well, no, I know how to say Daizujin, but the, it's translation, what it what it means. The legs still make up, you know, the uh, saber tooth and uh, triceratops. Yeah. It doesn't and actually the, give me an actual translation. And the head, the head piece is actually the... Uh, when you take the tri- the Tyrannosaurus and you uh, switch its uh, you move its head down into the chest piece, and then that head comes out. It was a, uh, you know, come on guys, this was the very first Megazord. Not only that we seen, but also the very first Megazord that we knew of that had a back door. <laughs> I like how he's trying to convince us. Like, like I, I, after all yeah. the swords we've seen, this is the this best. guy looks. I I don't care. I don't care if it sounds like I'm fanboy. This Zord looks better than a lot of the other mechas that we've seen so far. He really does. Well, I like the color scheme. The red and black well, works well. With the yellow and Except blue for the legs. giant fortresses. Those those looked amazing. Those but, are really neat. Well, yeah, but this guy... <laughs> Over the, the years, they've been trying to improve, so... This guy looks yeah. functional. I like that he has the, the shoulder pad things. His arms seem like they actually move. The head is not overdone. Has a little bit of a Gundam feeling, almost... It really does, actually. Mm. Next. Give him that fist bump. A blurry fist bump. Next. Oh. Another one. Damn. Fist bump with my crew. <laughs> Next. <laughs> oh, oh uh, my. Oh, that's a tiny picture. Okay. Detail. Well, to us, it's a tiny picture. To the <laughs> to fans, that was probably player. already blown up. Um, yeah, you get to see the back of it, the side. Even the even the uh, get to co- look in that I, cockpit and see that unlocked yeah, even back door. The cockpit door. was very basic, but it worked. You know, they have the, all five of them sitting the next to each other. The cockpit looked looked about the about the same as the last uh, per, last Sentai. So. so I know they never use this, but I have no choice but to ask. Since the guns are now on his back, is there is it possible that he could have shot mortars or something, and he just never did it? Like, and is it possible he could have done, like, a really special freaky kick where he shoots out two spikes? 
Well, I was going to say, with the guns back there, they could have shot out some missiles or something. Because, I mean, the Zords are still there. He still has... Oh, did... Okay, you couldn't have done nothing... The Triceratops, I still feel like it should be able to shoot out since... I don't, I don't think it would be practical, practical at all, but you could shoot the spikes out like the horns and then do a kick. He still has the guns on his back... And that's still very much RX-78-2 right here, where it looks like there's two swords he could pull out. There isn't, but it looks like it. That would have been cool. But no, it wouldn't have been practical. Next. <clears throat> they did. Oh. Um, this is the Megazord fighting a ch- large child. Yep, no, no, with it, the power it's, sword. It's, it's somebody handing him his sword. And from this angle, it looks like he's about to cut this kid down. Well, a few of these images Well, the are... kid has the sword. A few of these yeah. images are going to be kind of behind the scenes, so. Well, he needs to take that back. <laughs> Next. Oh, now oh he's going to hit that kid. Oh, oh, man. You have fucked up. <laughs> you, you gave me I the wrong weapon. I told you to bring me diet water, damn it. <laughs> you should not have given me that sword. Kid, it is hot in this suit. I demand water. <laughs> Zordon demands diet bottled water. Which in a is, can. Which is a stupid <laughs> freaking thing. <laughs> Next. Oh, oh my. Somebody's um, got a hold of him. Yeah, he's chained by something and floating. Maybe he thought jumping was help. Next. Oh, that. Oh, uh, well, that would explain it. That yep, might that. explain it, but he doesn't have a sword, so it's a different shot, but. Maybe. Uh, it looks like he's one of those marionette puppets now. Next. And cut off Megazord's solar power. Yes, in our show, the Megazord was solar powered. So, if the monsters just would have waited till nighttime, because all it took was to cut off the friggin' sun, they caused an eclipse, and then two guys just beat the Megazord down. Punch, punch, kick. Yeah. Dead. In our series, it never seemed like it got dark. It just seemed like... They Angel never attacked at night. Angel Grove just always seemed like it was sunny out. And there was that one odd episode where they fought underwater, which was kind of different and cool. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Next. Oh, oh see? Yeah, there. That's how they beat him, right there. Block out the sun. Supposedly, it has no power without the sun. And then they beat it down. But then again, it is also three against one. And to be fair, those other two can just sit there. The Green Ranger will take care of it. That's kind of true. He Next. Be- oh, that is awesome. Ooh, I know. Yeah. It was really cool. <clears throat> yeah, once in a while, I keep finding these uh Do you know what arts. this picture reminds me of? What? It reminds me of, if you guys have never seen the movie Pacific Rim. I have to. In the, begin- in the beginning of the movie, that shows the, uh, the the robot coming out of the water... And it falls to its knees, and it fucking kind of just, like, lays there because it's all beat up and everything. That's what it kind of reminded me of there for a minute. Like, it just got, it, obviously, it just got its shit kicked in. <laughs> and the Red Ranger is very sad, and the Pink Ranger there is to console him, and the others don't give a shit. Maybe because the others are dead. Now, that's a possibility. That would actually be a very uh, interesting... Con- for this image. <laughs> I, mean, look at, look, I mean, look at the city around it. It looks like it's, this looks like a post-apocalyptic thing and if you look very carefully at the background of this picture where the building's at it looks like there's a monster behind the buildings yeah there is there's something hovering above that's it. pretty cool this is a very uh awesome looking fan picture next and then there's them this is this there's the sent there's the sentai the zoo rangers standing there yeah in front of the next that is awesome this really does look that's, like... That's the exact one I'm talking about. That's the Legacy Megazord. That's it. This, really, this thing does really feel like a Gundam. Yeah. When you look at it. I mean... The plates right here yep. along the pelvic area is very reminiscent of what you'd see on like a gim. It, may, it really feels like that chest piece is going to open up to the cockpit, but we all know that the cockpit is in the head. <laughs> well, to be fair... I don't think we actually know where the cockpit is. I mean, they kind of show it, but... 
in our series, Tommy went through the back door. Yeah, but there was weird <laughs> things where sometimes the yeah. camera would zoom in on the head and it would seem like they were in the head. And, sometimes and then other times chest. it would show them in the chest as if that panel right there was a two-way mirror. I do. Yeah. I remember the Thunder Megazord, it being in the chest. Because they would pin no, they, they, they there were out. there were yeah. literal scenes in the original show where yeah. it would show the chest, and it would zoom out of the like they would be in there, and then it would zoom out. I would have from to, the chest. We, yeah. So they they've showed it to us as if they're in the head, and they've showed it to us as if they're in the chest. Well, there's yeah. some there's somewhere in that thing. <laughs> no, no, no. He's he's <clears throat> kind of right because you know not only did they do the pan out, but then at the same time when Tommy jumped up and started whipping ass, like the head started bobbling. Yep. Yeah, he yep. went into the head. So it's like, okay, so where are we now? Like, did, right. did they change places or something? Maybe after sure. the back, Next. maybe after the back door. Oh, sitting. double fist bumps, man! <laughs> I wonder if he got a picture of that one funny thing. I always see the Megazord do. Next, not quite yet, but oh, CG. There's the uh, Mastodon as the shield. Next. Another CG. I like how in a that wider sword, a wider zone. Look sword. at look at the saber tooth. It looks green. Like here's the thing. Look at that. That's a CG rendering. He doesn't seem too bulky. He seems like he moves. He seems like he'd fight. Seems like you could have done an anime that would have even slimmed him out a little more. In fact, I read the Boom Studios comic book, and he looks incredibly functional. Like the Megazord is easily one of the best times they ever got the mech to work. Like, oftentimes, they all come together and they're too bulky, or they're weird looking, or like they're too slim, or we can make a lot of jokes about them. And I'm sure that if I tried hard enough, I might be able to come up with jokes about this dude. But this dude is pretty sweet. Like, all around. I don't think it's just that we grew up with him. I think that this is a neat, nearly perfect design. And I think it's also helped by the fact that this guy can almost be referenced back to something. He is incredibly Voltron. Yeah. Compared mm -hmm. to the other, other mecha we've seen, this guy is hardcore. Like, he's a cross between if Voltron was a Gundam. You know. Yeah. You, like, read my mind, because I once, once again was about to say, because of how his legs look, it's very Voltron-like. Yeah. <clears throat> they just kind of hit the ground running with this guy. Next. That's I mean, awesome. look speaking, at that. Speaking of that running looks, with the guy. Yeah, that <laughs> looks feasible. Yeah. I believe that this Zord we see, could we, do we, combat. We've seen this Zord not only punch, but we've also seen him kick, so he doesn't seem like that. He looks like he's all stiff. Like well, okay, look. he's he's stiff enough that he can't do like a ninja kick. Yeah, but he can like backhand you, redirect. You, I've use seen him. Sword, I've seen block him with a shield. CGI, kick. he could do it like I a ninja kick. I've seen him like yeah. kick a yeah. monster, like do like a side kick. Yes, but like he could actually probably only do like a drop uh, kick or something. That's about it. No, nobody in the show. He did a he did a straight kick, a side kick, and a type of jump kick thing one time. Nobody, yeah. nobody drops drop kicks. Like the Tyrannosaurus, <laughs> and it's a little more believable to me. Some of the some of the mechs, I'm like, what if you get knocked down? <laughs> <laughs> this guy feels like he could, I don't know, get up. And he got knocked down a lot, Re and other Zords did too. Yeah. But the practicality of it, I think I even made a joke about it one time where we saw a Zord that was on the ground, and I was like, I bet you that guy cannot get up. And it's probably true that the guy in this costume, if he was knocked over, he probably can't get up without help either. Yeah. But the Zord looks functional enough that you believe. I think you believe more in what this Zord could have done than some of the other mechs we've seen so far. Next. And here's a good overall pick. It is. Next. And we're back. Okay. That was Dai Zujin, oh, Shane. He didn't, have the, he didn't have the picture, but uh, I don't understand why. But every time he would summon the uh, power sword, oh, picking would, up with the wrong, oh, he would pick it up with his hand. left hand and realize he couldn't do it. So then he would switch over to the right and pick it up. I always thought that was funny. Four point five. Four point five. Maybe, you know what? Four point eight, dude. I, I'm I'm absolutely you know yeah, yeah I'm gonna stick with four point eight, dude. I loved this design, and there's only one design. 
that I could think of that's going to get that extra point. I'm going to give it a four point eight. I gave it a four point eight. I'm going to give it a four point nine without going over. No, you already went over. I can tell you that because I'm giving him a four or five. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna win the prices. Right? I five. really feel like this is one of the best mecha we've ever seen. I'm saving my five. There's a reason. Because I think there's one design of this <laughs> Zord in particular. What? Guess who gets a thousand dollar bonus for winning the Price is Right? Four point eight. Oh, come four point eight. Too Fabulous bad we don't make prizes. money off this shit. <laughs> oh, come on, you've won, you've won it like once. I don't want to hear it. Okay, next is the Guardian Beast Dragon Caesar. Dragon Caesar five. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and put it down. Five. <laughs> I may be biased. <laughs> okay, first off. Green Ranger, okay? I used to do my own comic book and sell it at school called Alone Again, yeah. where the rest of the Rangers had actually got killed by Tommy, and then he somehow broke the spell and had to use the Dragon Zord and himself to combat Rita alone, and that he was kind of a more tragic hero. I think I got to, like, 30 issues. I used to do, like, they were, like, 10-page comics, yeah. And I got to about 30 issues. I used to sell them for about 25 cents a book at school. That was my first little business venture. But yeah, Dragon uh, Caesar is our Dragon Zord. Yeah. It's Godzilla. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm less, five yeah. all the way. He's green. Possibly my favorite color, actually. Oh, he's got, I don't, he's got fingers. I can't, I can't promise fingers. that, to be fair. Because what I see might not be what you guys see because I'm red-green deficient. Yeah. But I love the color green, I think. <laughs> you understand? He, he, does have green, he does have green in him, yes. And I, so Green Ranger, Dragon Dagger, Golden Morpher, Godzilla, Dragon. He, dude, I'm too much on this guy. Well... Completely you, biased, like you, you really can't even ruined believe. it because I was saving my five as well because <laughs> I knew what my five was going to be. I mean, this is Tommy, of course, my man crush. That is true. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, so, that's very true. So five for me easily. I mean, not only. Wait, wait. We're just looking at the first. It doesn't picture. matter. It's five. We're gonna go through the pictures, <laughs> Scott. You're just gonna give the score without looking at the other pictures. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> Thank you for wasting your time. All we needed was a name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next. Uh, shit. Yeah, there it is. You have summoned me. What is your wish? That's the Red Ranger. It has fucking missile fingers. <clears throat> and the guy on the cliff. Shields is on its side. So it has the reinforced shields on its side, and it has that shield in the front. Seems more heavily armored to take more damage than the other Zords were. Because mm -hmm. it's, its front and its sides make me feel like I think the Dragon Caesar could take more damage. It was more tank-like than Daizujin. I think Daizujin could take less damage. Yeah, it was yeah. more... It it was was more Fighting life it was quite obvious, but I think Daisujin moves better than yeah. he does. To be he, fair, he's not the most. He doesn't like. He does. He's not the most flexible. But he makes up Except for it tail with, does. with crazy <laughs> tail and missile fingers. Yeah, he might not be as agile, but he makes up. In and the to defense. be fair, in this picture, that's the Red Ranger staring him down. Yes, Geki. He's like, bitch! I will beat your ass. And Next, like, I will eat you. Now there, he's gonna eat them all. Oh, you have your friends here. What, do you need a Yamcha revived? Has that awesome symbol on the belt. Yep. The Z symbol. Yep. Next. Oh, he's just walking along. There's flowers. It looks like he's going to go pick flowers. Next. Just tiptoe, tiptoeing yeah. through the tulips, Sleeping. motherfucker. He's, he's, he's also the only Zord from our generation. Within the confines of our show, he's the only Zord in our generation to still be active. Yeah. Every other Zord was destroyed somehow. 
Yep, he's sleep. that I could think of. <clears throat> he is still at the bottom of Angel Angel Grove Lake Ocean. Because they always seem to destroy the Zords and the powers so they can move to the next show. Yeah, they always seem to do that. Like in, in like in space, they 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 like at the last episode they had no powers. I can't remember. Uh, like I know they I know they have them. To fight the the in person, but for a while there they'd actually lost. They got destroyed. All their Zords were destroyed, and they lost their powers for a little while. Well, I know that the Zord himself is not destroyed, but isn't he technically like he's still at the bottom? Completely of- inactive because they have no Dragon Dagger. Actually, the Dragon Dagger's sitting on Tommy's desk. Watch Dino, well, true, in Dino Thunder. Watch he still now. has it. Okay, so, in, in so Dino yes, Thunder, technically he could. So, one of the kids this- sees it and is like. Hey, hey, Professor, what's that? And he's like, that's an old friend. <laughs> Don't wait, it's still at the bottom of the lake rusting at this point. Does it rust? I don't know. But that's, that's a decent question. how long it's been there. Right, but then again, it was there for an awful long time before, because uh, the original series, the original series that comes out, like the in the Sentai, it comes out of the... The lake, river, ocean, whatever the shit that is. It has to be an ocean because that, there's no lake that deep. Right. But yeah. regardless, it comes out of that water mass, and it had been down there since since Bandora first attacked. Yeah. Which, and probably before long? that. After 10,000 years, I'm free. Nope. Oh, Bandora, was, ben- Bandora was trapped for millions. Yeah. yeah, Bandora was in prison for like... 10 million years. Well, yeah, Bandora, but I'm referencing our show. Rita. Right. After 10,000 years. But since, since we take a lot of our away. concepts still, off of them. Still, that is long while. Like, yeah. if it didn't rust in that long, it's still fine. It's still fully functional down there. Yeah, exactly. And I would love to see an episode where it climbs out of the water mass again. I would well, go so, back somebody find, immediately. Somebody accidentally finds the dragon dagger and tries to play it. <laughs> Accidentally, my ass. It literally is. Intense. Tommy literally just needs to be like, oh, fuck, we have 13 Zords on the field and we can't fight these guys. Fuck it. Play a flute. I mean, look, tribute to the Dragon Zords' power, the White Ranger's power is greater. Created from the power of light, can never be controlled, is the strongest of the leaders. By the way, he's the leader now. And the Red Ranger's like, wait, 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 wait. You just... Do you just, like, take my leadership just like that? And he's like, Don't shut view up, Jason. that plot hole. And the fact that the Dragon Zord whipped. Yeah. It After white surviving the death shot. It, tr- it survived the Because white the White Tiger Zord has that Hadouken thing that comes out yeah. of the tiger mouth that yep. kills monsters in one hit. And, and the, the Dragon, Dragon Zord walked, walked through, through it without yep. damage. And then he tail whipped And then them. says, And tail didn't whip. even turn the tail on. It didn't even do the spin. He just tail whipped it, defeated. The White Ranger was like, "Oh fuck!" So, you know, you were, you know, did, Tommy in his mind when he got hit, he was like, "I forgot how powerful I used to be." So here's did, here's <laughs> the biggest thing. Wait, 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 did this actually made an appearance during that legendary war? No, no, no. That, I was no. waiting for it, and it. Never, I know, yeah. I know. You have the same face I did. I was waiting for it. It if did it's not still show in up. The ocean, bring it out. I don't think they. I, if I remember right, in our series. I haven't got to watch all of theirs, but in our series, they had to earn each one of those transformations from, like, old rangers and, and different things like that. They had to earn but, each transformation they got. I don't got. think anybody got the Green Ranger. And one guy, one guy did earn the Green Ranger transformation. That would be the sixth Ranger. But I don't think you can actually summon the Dragon Zord without actually having the yeah. Dragon Dagger and it's still secure in Tommy's possession. Yeah. Our series wise. So then why didn't Tommy who appeared in our legendary war he bring did. out the dragon dagger? Because Yeah. Don't view <laughs> that plot hole. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Scott. Exactly. Fucking plot Because holes. he shows up in human <laughs> form, and then it does the same shit it's done for the other guys that came back, only it gives him the white power. Then he shows up in suit, in the green suit, and goes, hey, you guys are doing a great job as rangers. That's it. Tommy. Oh, by the way, we'll fight by your side. Yeah. yeah. Which I I enjoyed that movie for what it was worth, but yeah. like, but yeah, yeah. This there's Zord, an entire armada go like coming down trying to kill everything. 
Oh, well, fuck that. Dragon Zord, Missile Fingers. As far dead. as I could tell, thinking back, every single mecha we had, I think, ended up destroyed. Yeah. Well, I know the Tiger Zord was destroyed. I know the Thunder Megazord was destroyed. The Megazord was destroyed. Um, I mean, I guess maybe Titanus is still roaming around somewhere, but I can't promise that. Yeah. Well, wait. What about the turtle? D- didn't didn't some of the Oh, the turtle I think was actually stepped on and damaged. I don't think it, it I don't think it was destroyed, but I think it was damaged yeah. by uh 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 Serpentera was yeah. stepped on it. Yeah. Okay. So it was quote damaged beyond repair. Something like that. Yeah. I was gonna say, didn't the Sentai version of the Legendary War have like the Zords show up? A good portion of them, but there was but still, still a lot not, that weren't there. Still not like him. Daisujin didn't make an appearance that I can remember in that movie because mm. I think I would have tripped hardcore about that. Um, next, yeah, next probably. Sure, why not? Um, dancing? Godzilla fight. Either that or trying to dance. Next. Happy. Ah. That's his happy, sad, mad face. Yep. <laughs> it never changes. <laughs> Next. And a bit of detail. This thing Very was- rarely did he ever pilot this mecha. It was it was very self controlled. I mean it was powered by that music that he played, but it was it was more alive, I think, than the other ones. Now in their series all of the Zords or Mechas were alive. No. They were all spirit beast things. Yeah. But I think his was more alive than any of them. Because where where the Tyrannosaurus would come down and it was very obviously powered without Geki Geki would have to go in it to get more precise fighting ability. Where in this, I think he only actually piloted Dragon Caesar twice or something like that. I was going to say, he wasn't around that long. So No, to be fair, he wasn't in so their he, series. He, he or ours, was I guess. only like one or two episodes of him in the cockpit. Yeah. Most of the time he played the music from the outside and the Zord just knew... How to do? He stuff. also would stand on its head sometimes. That was pretty cool too. Yeah, he'd he'd be he'd like set, stand on top of its head while it battled. Yeah. When they have the action figure on his head. Next. Oh no! So, Bill, you're a Power Ranger, and you see this. What do you do? Get off the, the roof building. of the building. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? Try to find a back door. I'm gonna run as close to it as I possibly can. And give it a hug? No. You're asking me if I had the power of a Power Ranger? How would I fight it? I need to get as close as I can right now. Not point at it, be surprised, and wait for Missile Fingers to blow my ass away. (laughs) That's true. I would probably jump. It doesn't move that well. I'm very small. If I can get close to it or on it, it can't do anything about it. It can't, like, pick me off. Because it has missile fingers, and it has funny Tyranno arms, yeah. so it can only move the arms so well. So, step one in my thought process, get as close as I possibly can to it. And even if, if not it... on top of it, it's Battle of Colossus in this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. So, there you go, Shane. Because, because the worst it could do is turn on the drill tail and try to drill your ass off. And then you just fucking move and let it drill itself. <laughs> right. <laughs> and depending on what ranger I am, I'm going to have to make use of my weapon. I can't do much to it, to be fair. Unless you're, unless ting, you're Mammoth ting, Ranger, ting, because ting, then ting. you uh, you could stand far away and scare it away with but your I'm awesome also, voice. But I'm also an awesome Power Ranger with super retarded powers, so maybe I can go through its eye. <laughs> Tommy did it. If I can get inside the Zord, I can cause damage to it. This From the outside, I stand no chance. But I'm safer close to it than I am far away from it. Because it's got stupid spinny tail and missile fingers and step on me. And none of those are preferable. Yeah. No. So I'd rather go hug it. I would. I'd <laughs> yeah. go hug it. 
I jump over there like, friend! <laughs> While he fucking hits me. Why, what was your plan? Because so far I heard run away. <laughs> so you're prone to possible middle fingers in the in, in the butthole while you're running. <laughs> Missile butt finger! <laughs> my, my plan was to bow down to it. You're dead. <laughs> it's going to eat you <laughs> right off the roof. <laughs> it's not a king you can bow down to. It's more powerful. It'd than be me. all like <laughs> they'd play that flute. They'd be like, "Go ahead and eat that guy now." <laughs> and it's like I am hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh, next, boy. next, next, next. Yeah, check and he's him on out. top of the head, dude. I love that. It's so cheesy looking too because the the special effect was awful. They just put an action figure on his head, like you said. But yeah. for some, the, in my imagination, that's really cool that he's standing up there. The way the way the Zord looked, it's like it's like, what the fuck is on my head? Yeah, <laughs> guys, I think there's something here, but I can't reach it. Yeah, <laughs> it, 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 it actually because of the angle, it looks like it actually has a brand new expression. Like it actually has a shocked yeah. face because instead his of eye, his happy, eyes look sad, his angry, eyes look all like the same face. His eyes look like they're glowing uh, um, even redder than they usually are. No, it just make it, the angle makes his eyes look wider. Like what? Dragon Caesar's like what the fuck? Ah! Hat! <laughs> <laughs> I really feel like if this thing had a voice, it would be a funny voice. I've always mm. pictured a funny voice with it. Not not the Vanisher voice, Next. though. Now he's Boom, no. bitch! Destruction! Dude. And it looks so menacing. Like, he honestly, like, when he's tearing through the city or even another monster, like... He looks. He comes out of the ocean. That's terrifying. I mean, he he's God literally he's literally like a giant freaking Godzilla kaiju monster, as opposed to everything else we've seen. I think another reason I really like this is everything else we've seen is uh, man like. Yeah. Like I think up to this point, everything we've seen is like some sort of tower or a fortress thing or a man of some sort. Even that, even that one that had the bird features was still just a man with nipple pitchy hands <laughs> and a bird head. But this, this is straight out of a Godzilla. kaiju. Yeah, yeah. He has the sharp teeth. The yeah. The but tail, of course, the... now that Scotty said it, that's all I can think is Godzilla. There is no law against being knocked into a building. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "No, vanish your voice." I'm like, "God damn it!" Then don't say it. <laughs> Next. Oh. oh, look at that, bitches! Get off me. <laughs> if it wasn't for the fact that it's two different people, it all like clearly two different people. It almost looked like he did like. Grab this side, grab this side, rip in half. Like, he's just grabbing both their swords, like, look, no. Yeah. He's like, no, you're not going to attack me. <laughs> Next. And we're back. Missile fingers! <laughs> the missiles are loaded, too. Look at his fingers. Yep. Next. No, no, oh, that, was, oh, that, shit. Was, yeah, that okay. was all yeah. of it. Okay. So we got a five, a five, a 4.8. What you got, Scotty? Five. Okay. <laughs> You know what I wish? Like, hardcore, I wish. That you were the Green Ranger? No. <laughs> um. Instead of that bullshit fucking, oh, sorry, Tommy, your power is no longer strong enough to handle the thunder power. What would the Thunder Dragon Zord have been? Because look what happened to the Tyrannosaurus. It became like an eternal serpent dragon. This thing is already an awesome dragon. Could we have had summoning Shinlong? What if it was like a King Ghidorah type of thing? That's exactly what I'm getting at. Yeah, like a King Ghidorah Zord. That would have been sweet. A three-headed Zord. I'd have been into that. It's yeah. feasible. The, the Triceratops there was mecha, a There was Mecha Ghidorah, and it worked in the films, and it was awesome. Yeah. yeah. So and they could have just and done it again. Unreasonable. And especially since he's already Godzilla, the next the next logical step, if Thunder would've Powers like, would have worked for him, would have been King Ghidorah. I was going to say, other than that, and that the, there would have been also the, the Space Godzilla 
concept with the whole extra points coming out. That, that yeah, that just seems yeah. like a more. Uh, that doesn't seem like an actual trade. Seems like an armor upgrade yeah. to me. Yeah. Like when they tra- when they got their thunder powers, like the they fully changed. The Triceratops became a unicorn. Yeah, and the saber two tiger became a griffin. Cool, and then the the pterodactyl became another bird, firebird, a yep. lot cooler. Yeah, but the tri the tyrannosaurus became a freaking dragon, an eternal dragon that t- had its own battle mode where it turned into like now, hell, to be fair, uh, a ronin. Hell, to be fair, yeah. even the mastodon became a lion. That was that's cool. what I'm getting at. Yeah, they got really cool transformations. Yeah, they really I did. realize what they did was they just took the next Sentai show. And blended it. But can you imagine how cool it would have been if they for had the Dragon Zord to out? get a Thunder transformation? Actually, if technically if they... it could have, but they took that transformation and gave it to Zed. Serpentera? Yeah. yeah. Serpentera would have been the other fucking Zord. To be fair, yeah, though, but they couldn't have they couldn't have played the footage to make it look right. And to be yeah. fair, the Tyrannosaurus kind of turned into a red, smaller version of Serpentera. But then yeah. again, if you were doing this whole like transformations comparing to the other one, he would have transformed into the White Tiger Zord. Which would have made no sense. But that's what yeah. I mean. If we would have been doing the show... He would have went from really cool to slightly less cool. If we would have been doing the show instead of buying their footage and filming around it, and we could have just simply made a Zord ourselves, I really feel like Thunder Ghidorah. Now that I think about it, that would be... Because Thunder would have hit him, his shoulders would have broke open, and two extra heads would have come out. And then the next would have widened, and it would have been able to shoot all those lasers everywhere, and still have missile fingers. Dude, that would that would be awesome. And it could missile have flown, fingers then. with three and crazy been, and lightning it would have been attacks. Able to fly because it got and, wings. Yeah, it would have grown wings and been able to fly. But no, actually, didn't King Ghidorah not have arms? Listen, I'm just making sure. Now listen, <laughs> you're right, but but we're not going to Pokemon evolve here. We're going to evolve and still stay within the lines of I could pick up my own stuff. Okay. Pokemon that are like, dude, one day I'm going to evolve and be so awesome. And then later on they're sitting around like, remember back when we used to have arms? <laughs> Those were good times. Those were good times. <laughs> But yeah, yeah. I'm just remembering, like when you said missile fingers. Yes, like, Ghidorah had no, he had no, no arms. arms. <laughs> but I'm gonna say that we need to keep some arms on the. Uh... I think he would have looked even more menacing with arms. So what was the final score for? Probably like a four point nine. Close four point nine five. Sweet four point nine five. The highest rated one. Oh, then, oh wow! Um, nope. Nope. <laughs> really, guy? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking really, guy? You're not even. I get I get away with it because I'm sick. <laughs> Fucking lazy prick. He just looks at it and says, "Nope." <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for letting me use my nope memes that I have. That was awesome. Uh, fucking punk ass. I believe this is like Gao Yuz Gao Gao Yuzin Gao Yuzin Gao Yuzin Gao Yuzin because okay. I think it's still it's still just like uh, Dai Zujin, but I believe this is Gao Yuzin. I don't remember for sure. I know I've heard them say it, but I cannot honestly remember. But there you go. It's the Caesar with the. This is the Caesar transformation with all the other Zords. Well, uh, most One of, them. of them. Three of them. Yeah. So the Tyrannosaurus is fine by, by, by its side, so... Along with the Pterodactyl flying around. Yep, somewhere. And uh, he gets that really neat weapon. Next. And... Uh, showing the finisher... And apparently one other move from its head or something. And then it's long little staff thing and the side and back shot. Next. Uh, fist bump. Come get some. Next. Figure. 
Next. Closer figure. Next. Actually, I think that was the die cast. Yes, it is. This is yeah. this is the uh, the two. These are the two legacy Zords put together. Next. CG, which looks big. Next. And back. Okay. Proof that I'm not just nostalgia raging here. Two. I don't like this. I mean, it, the, the concept when I first look at it is really cool, but then look at that fucking thing. Can that yeah. thing actually fight? Can it move? Is it feasible at all to believe that this thing stands up? Look at its weapon. The weapon is really cool, but it's completely unwieldy. Four monsters attack from different directions, and it's trying to slowly poke at them. And its legs seem barely functional, if at all. It doesn't even seem to have knees anymore. <laughs> and its arms, as it's trying to move and attack, its kneecaps are actually in the way of the weapon itself. Because it's using a type of pike staff, dragon lance type of thing. Yeah. So, for me, you guys might might have a different opinion, but for me, this thing seems like it doesn't function. Like there's no way I never. Be functioning. And I think they only used it like two or three times ever, and I think there's a reason for it. I think once they made it and they were like, this is really cool, we'll start using this, they probably put that guy in the costume two or three times and tried to film cool action scenes and were like, fuck, we can't make this look cool. He can't move. Yeah. Literally, they would be like, hey, transform into that guy. The monsters would kick at him a couple times, he'd like throw a punch, and then he'd poke him and they'd die. They were really bad fight scenes once this thing showed up, because I don't think this dude could move. You can't swing the staff around, because it's literally taller than he is, and almost as wide as half of him, and his kneecaps are in the way, so he can't move yeah, the staff kneecaps. around. He has to hold it with two hands and step forward one time with like a thrust motion, and the, the bad guy literally has to be like, okay, bring it. <laughs> Because one step backwards or to the side, and the monster would be like, ooh, that was close. <laughs> Good thing you don't have a power sword or some sort of laser breath or missile fingers. <laughs> but luckily, you've only got this one poke attack, and it's, it's not going to happen. This ain't wrestling. I ain't going to set you up. Not going to sell the move. You're going to have to actually hit me with that thing, and it's never going to happen. No, unless it fires the chains off the uh, the triceratops and holds it in place, so it could be like, okay, now nah, I got you. Which would be cool and feasible, and maybe maybe the comic book will change my mind if they do a couple transformations and show me how this thing might have worked. Yeah. yeah. But in the concept of the show, no. I remember every time this thing showed up, it was like poke. Form this guy, poke, and I was like, why didn't you just step to the side? <laughs> He can only poke in a straight fucking line. He can't whip the thing around. His kneecaps are in the way. Because in order to move the staff, if he moves the staff this way, the bottom of the staff swings this way. Yeah. And he's hitting his knees. Ting! Shit! Ting! Fuck! Hold on. He's got to put it down and pick it up with his other hand and then move it to the side. Poke! Shit! Stand still, damn it! <laughs> Trying to end a fight here. So, just a little bit of proof that I'm not just nostalgia the shit out of it. To me, this form looks cool, but is dumb. He's not even a big tower zord. Like, he doesn't have a thousand guns to shoot. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of agree, too. I mean, it, it looked cool, but it's like the functionality looks horrible. Right. He's almost as dumb as bee putties with no hands. That just takes space in your spaceship, eat your food, and poo on the floor. It can't even do the simple functions that you're going to need to run your spaceship. As useless as bee putties. Now I'll have to find the images of the bee putties. <laughs> I'll just steal them from the last video. If I can find them. Oh, uh, shit. Um, I'll give this... 
to okay. 3.5. Cool. I never liked this thing, so 2.1. Wow. I actually, I actually thought that was going to be a just me thing that didn't care for that. I never liked it. 2.4. I like the design of it. it got a oh, 2. yeah. 4. But I mean, like. I think it yeah, looks it cool. 4. But yeah, like, it looks awesome. But yeah, no, you're kind of right. Like, it can't really do shit. And it's like, well, yeah, yeah, I suppose. So what do we have here? Uh, this is a long episode is what we got. What is this? Z- uh, Zoiti? Zoitai? Daizujin? Yeah. Z- uh, Zai? Zui? Zui? That This word. guy! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Not Japanese. Gonna have to definitely look up how to say that, because that... Oh, wait. That first word. <laughs> yeah, that word has me lost. So here we go. There's that guy. Oh, this is the better form. Okay, this this one is more believable to me in actual. Oh yeah, this with him yeah. shooting his Z's. I mean, I guess it looks kind of goofy to me, to be fair. But it's a lot more practical now. He has missile shoulders. He, he's got the Legion of Doom, and he has those yeah, weird. I'm he has those weird side Z things. Didn't they fire? Yeah, they fired Zs. Yeah, they shot like weird laser things. I always thought this one looked goofy, though. Yeah. More so practical than the others. Yeah. yeah. This thing yeah. looks so looked dumb. dumb. Yeah. Next. Uh, a little deep. Looks dumpy, but the practicality is. From the a side, bit it better. looks really cool. Yeah. And the, look the at big, the side here. The big horn from the. <laughs> that looks really awesome. <laughs> looks yeah. like he, it looks like he has a dino. It looks like he has like a lizard head. <laughs> right. <laughs> Friggin' Gorn Zord. It's a Gorn. <laughs> there you go. It's a Gorn. <laughs> Next. Oh, so oh, dumb figure, uh. <laughs> This guy is really dumb looking. Zooming Those are his on... hands and his shoulders. <laughs> yeah, that's how he gets missile shoulders. <laughs> I was going to say, zooming in on the figure doesn't help. <laughs> it looks so dumb. Next. That's a little bit that better. That looks a little better when you're seeing him from angles. Look at the, look at the Megazord. You know it's like, get this thing off of me. Get it off of me. <laughs> oh, uh, this is not. This, 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 uh, this is, but this is better than those, uh, that train, uh, two people hookup. <laughs> oh, yeah. Next. Yeah. Oh my god. CG. Even the CG makes this, it, it still looks goofy and impractical to me. I mean, it's more, in terms of a practicality, you can move around with this. I believe that this thing could fight. Like, I believe you could put the sword in its hand, and it could fight and shoot the Z laser things and have missile shoulders. And but... it can bend its knees. Okay, that was it. Yep. Uh, the, oh, man. Uh, two. Man, I think I'm on another two for that. I think that thing looks... No, you know what? I think I'm on like a 1.5. That one is more practical, but it looks dumb. It just looks dumb. I'm going three. It's like a turtle sat on the yeah, Megazord's head. I'm, I'm kind of with you on that, on the three. What about you, Shane? Two. Okay, two. Do okay, not like that thing. thing. It looks so stupid. Uh, two point three eight. Okay. Two point three eight. So we wow, are now so on... that thing literally only got like a point oh two lower. We are now on Beast Knight God King Bronchio. Did you get all that, Shane? Yep. Okay. <laughs> oh, this, right. Titanus. Yeah. We we call him Titanus in our series, yes. Yeah. I liked this thing. I thought this thing was awesome. Next. Here's the <laughs> box or the figure. You got to get the or, legacy one of him. Next. Chains. That's because they rode him. Yeah. yeah he was he was almost they, like a carriage they type They rode of him thing. hard. Next. And he's got guns. Next. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The mouth used to have like a laser that came out, and it had those giant side guns. Yeah. Next. Hi. Hi. <laughs> What's up, long neck dude? Next. And he's got long back, too. That's because they stood on him. Yeah. He was basically like a... Uh, for for best that I can describe, he was almost like one of those battle carriages in the gladiator arenas. Chariot? Uh, yeah, those chariots or whatever yeah. they call it. 
Yeah, yeah. with yeah, with the one horse. Yes, and, and yeah, that's the, basically what he was. Yeah. Next. Uh, we're back. Yeah, I think we're back. Yeah. Okay. Oh man, uh, I've a three five for me. I liked Titanus. Thought it was really cool. Three. I'll go with the three. This is, oh, Seth. Ultimate Daizujin. Wait, we don't have the score yet. Yeah, no, that's because I can't decide on one. Fuck it, I'll, I'll go simple. He's a 2-5 to make him an even three. Okay. Okay. All right. It's time for Ultimate Daizujin. You ready, Shay? The ultimate form. Yes. Ready for the ultimate Daizujin? Yes, I am. This is the best of all Daizujins, Shane. Yes, I got it. I got it from like, the word ultimate. Like yes. ultimate. I got like, it. Like this is the best one. I got it. Like if you had all of the ones possible, Shane. Got it. And they were all in one room. Got it. This would be the best of all of them that were in that one room. Yes, I, I understand. You, the you mean of you mean like a really great alliance? Like the ultimate alliance yeah. of Daizujin. I got you. It's, you know? I got you. I know what the okay, word ultimate so, means. Okay, so this is like the best got it. of all things. I got it. So you, you get, it, get that? I got so it. So it's like the best one. You <laughs> don't need to keep continuously trying to sell me on it. If you would have done that one more time, I would have finally been like, just hit the fucking button. <laughs> there, Shane. The best one ever. <laughs> Overkill. <laughs> Fire all the everything. <laughs> Fuck their faces. <laughs> to be fair, this right here can never die. This is their this is their fortress zord. Yeah. He has all those chest guns, the shoulder cannons, the the fuck yeah, the shoulder missiles, the two fucking side cannons, the blaster piece plus the mouth blast from the bronchiosaurus thing and the two Z lasers. <laughs> Yeah, it just stands in one spot and unleashes death upon thee. That, that's when it's not rolling. It can never die. <laughs> <laughs> it blew up that face in the sky. This thing <laughs> is ridiculous. Yeah. Next, because there is no law against blowing up the moon. <laughs> I really think there is, though. Or sorry, moon is. No, true. actually, I don't think there is. To be fair, that would cause catastrophic. It, it, I'm not saying that it's a good thing, but should you should you fire lasers upon the moon, I do not believe there is a law sanctioned. I think that if you have a laser strong enough to blow up the moon, that's illegal. Well, te technically, it would be blowing up a moon. Is it illegal to own a laser? I don't think it's because I don't think it is. Uh, One that's it depends on where you're at because technically, if we were to go like. One city over, it's illegal to own lasers, but that's because jackasses will point them in the air and they're worried about the airport and shit. But okay, so... That's different. So technically in our area, it's legal for me to own a laser. So should I build a giant ultimate Daizujin, meaning the best of possible Daizujin? <laughs> I understand! <laughs> okay, like <laughs> this... <laughs> uh, anyway, I on, could on shoot the... that laser at the moon... And there is no law against blowing up the moon. And after that, you're dead. Right, but I can do it legally. Yeah. Anyway, on this. Well, image... no, you're not dead. If you're in that thing, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now I'm actually like... curious if it's illegal to blow up the moon. <laughs> I'm honestly, I really curious. don't think. That... I really think it is. If I'm... I if I remember <laughs> right, I'd be surprised if Congress actually passed a law saying do not blow up the moon. Yeah. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't think you it's might get in they've trouble for building about. a giant weapon. Right. No, that's very yeah. true. Nobody in their right mind is like building a laser to blow up the moon. Right. Yeah. yeah. But it's I'm again. I'm pretty sure that it's not illegal. Like, like you could blow up the moon and get away with it, but you're going to get in trouble for building a giant weapon that can blow up the moon. No, wait, wait. Now, un unless we get invaded by saints, why the hell are we blowing up a moon? Well, look. Shane, basically what I'm telling you If you, you here, say this thing is ultimate, the best of the best, I will slap you. I know what ultimate means. Basically what I'm telling you is this is the greatest Daizujin. <laughs> but anyway, this image... And is, he can blow up the moon. Is I, If I remember this right, this was like after the 
monster got blown up and it's like uh, celebrating and stuff. Look, this is if, with the white tiger zord parts. If you look at his, if you look at the right arm, this is after they they didn't actually have this real thing. So in our show, they quite literally started using the toy. If you look at the... They would roll out the actual model toy oh. to make this sword because it but, didn't but, exist because we didn't have the White Tiger's word parts. But, look, but, but pay attention but to But why the, is it only the If you the look hands. at the right arm, it looks like it's petting him. No, that sorry, sorry. <laughs> but, 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 I, I'm thinking too far ahead. Later on, we will use the, uh, the Thunder Megazord and put him in the Titanus yeah. thing. And I believe that I believe they were using toys at that point. Yeah, because we didn't actually that didn't actually happen. Yeah. Next. Oh. 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 Dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll put. Now they just with, need a, with, with Now the they dra- just need a King Kong sword with the dragon sword on top of his head. <laughs> <laughs> that thing looks so scary. <laughs> Like, like, Titanus does not look like it's enjoying that. It's like, oh, God, please don't kill me. And he's like, don't worry, i put you out of your misery. <laughs> Next. That thing. that thing is so ridiculous. And Next. Uh, oh, Whoa. shit. Oh, my Lord. That, that thing's th- a lot closer than it should be. It's large. It really is. Next. It's bigger than the city. Oh, explosions. Boom, bitch. Yeah, that's not going to, nothing's going to affect that thing. It's like throwing the Genesis device at a bunch of Klingons in the next sector <laughs> over. <laughs> Boom, man! That was a complete waste. <laughs> Fuck you! It was so awesome! It was never, never I, me. Ne- I never said it wasn't awesome. <laughs> I just said it was a complete waste of the Genesis bomb. Next. Nuh-uh, it was them or me, no. and I didn't have no Starfleet. Fuck you! Next. This thing is so ridiculous. Next. And we're back. Okay. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, wow. So what do you give the ultimate Daisujin? Four. The, the best Daisujin. Like the greatest... Scott, say a number. Four. <laughs> Shane, say a number. Four. Oh, that doesn't seem very best to me, Shane. Like, give it a number. <laughs> I guess he gets a four. So it's a four. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's four. (laughs) So let's take a look at some of these uh, co-op pictures. Yeah, sweet. Some teaming up. It's like, give me a fist bump, and if you don't, I'll sick my friend on you. (laughs) Next. (laughs) Oh, Oh, no. no. Shit Um, is very real right now. Yeah. Now I'm sad. Um, Some of the... uh, Dragon Zord's missing? I think shit went down, Shane. Um, Goddamn kids in their M80s using my toys. <laughs> <laughs> How is it miss? It's I don't know. It's like disappearing pieces of them. I'm thinking we might need the ultimate Daisujin. No. There's not enough pieces to <laughs> yeah. make Yeah, ultimate. that's the problem. Right, right. There's not enough to be the best Daisujin. Like the greatest Next. in a... <laughs> Oh, Damn. sweet! That is awesome! Damn. Okay, okay, okay. For a second, that. For a second, the saber tooth was scaring the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Okay, do you see those two metal things where, the, where I guess it's whiskers would be? Yeah. For some reason, when I first when I first saw this picture, I thought those were his eyes. I was always confused by those because shouldn't those be pointed down? For the, oh, for the yeah, aren't be, those supposed to be the teeth? The teeth. Yes. Yes. But every time I see it, they're pointed up, and that always confuses me. Yeah. Yeah. Next. Oh, jigging. Something, something's up in the sky, or we're going to start jigging. Stop. Hammer time. <laughs> Next. God damn it. Is that a secret handshake? Um, They're trying to <laughs> dance. I'm sorry, but as soon as I saw this picture, instantly I went back to the Super Smash Brothers commercial. <laughs> Next. Get back here. Now, Next. Oh, look at that. They're not even they're not even looking at it. <laughs> they're so uninterested. It's not really that ultimate yet. Nah. <laughs> they're so yeah. uninterested. Next. Oh, oh, shit, that's sick. That is actually... That made that made the freaking retarded thing look cool. But do you see that? Do you see how Gundam 
this Megazord is. Yeah. Daizujin yeah. was so awesome, dude. Compared to a lot of the other mechs that we have seen, Daizujin looks functional. He looks believable to me. So many of the others, I'm like, okay. Yeah. Yes, I'm not disagreeing with you. It looks awesome. Next. And then we're back to the... No. And, so... And the weird thing is, we've taken up more than enough time with these. Yes, we yeah. actually do not have a topic, nor do we need one. This episode is done, unless you guys got something else. No, I got nothing. The only thing I got is to say thanks to the fans, because, you know, they're awesome and all. Everybody's always losing their mind, like, holy shit, you guys are doing this and that and the other. Baby. It's like, well, yeah, we're still just dudes do it, sitting around doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're dudes looking around at pictures. And yeah. talking about them. It's, it's literally what we're doing, but yeah. we, we're and like People to... still lose their mind, like, oh shit, they're doing this and doing that. It's like, you know, hanging out. It's crazy to me, too, because uh, we're starting to get a lot of pickup on the podcast. And the podcast... It has a couple of episodes that you can't get here, but like, it's not it's not anywhere near caught up to where we are. The podcast is still doing the costume reviews, and I think I think the last time we got something like eight like eight thousand seven hundred hits or something last month. Hold up, let me check the messenger to see what he said. Because <laughs> there was a shit ton. I can't what, remember what how many hits was? it actually what got. The, uh, but it's it's going episodes, up. It's going up fast. Like episodes, thumbs the, up. the sad thing is, what's going to happen when it comes to like some of these episodes where we aren't exactly Sentai, describing? Sentai was literally one away from thirty nine hundred. So yeah, damn. Yeah, three thousand eight hundred ninety nine views. Like that's that's or, well sick. RSS hits anyway. That's that's pretty that's pretty sick. Like. We're not, we're not even, like I said before, we just opened the door. Like, yeah, if we, we, if we really, if we really take this to the extreme and, I mean, and we, go over every topic. We, we kind of did when we looked at those other countries. Yeah, if we start diving too. into their stuff too, like, we're talking about endless amounts of episodes. This show has the potential to run for, like, another fucking eight years. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be oh. on YouTube till we die. <laughs> well, considering the fact that when we originally started YouTube, we were like, yeah, we're going to keep doing this until, like, we can't do it no more. And then everybody kept getting burnt out and fucking leaving and then coming back because they were done being burnt out and all that shit. And then all of a sudden it's like, hey, uh, let's just do a uh, podcast only and we'll just leave the Sentai show up. And then all of a sudden it's just like, Hey, look at this. Hey, look at this. Hey, look at this. You know, very Fox. few of us, like you said, very few of us have been around for the entire ride. Yeah. Like, Nick has cut out and come back in. Uh, Kevin is gone. Yeah. Not that he wouldn't come back and do an episode. Um, Kevin, Kevin pursued his school pretty heftily, and he's actually a game programmer now. So he pretty much gets no free time. Like, yeah. he has to find excuses to create free time. Yeah. Like, Jack... Jack wasn't even there when he was a part of us. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure where he went, so he's gone. Um. Uh, Spencer, he'll show up every now and then, but it's going to be rare that he shows back up ever. Like, yeah. Like, the team has pretty much sanctioned off to us four, and the rest are kind of playing guests, which is not bad. Yeah. But, mm. but it, we've been here a long time, and this time I think we finally found a show that works. For one, I've enjoyed doing it, and I'm not getting tired of it because, look, we we've reviewed a lot of Final Fantasy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Techni technically three times, even though it's only been two and a half. And we burnt out pretty quick. Yeah. Because it's, it's hard to talk, like, every single Final Fantasy game, because after a while, they blur together. Yeah. And it's somewhat true for the series, but I think there's something different about the way that this show doesn't take itself too seriously that has allowed us to enjoy it. And how old is this show now? It's a real question. Our like, Sentai show? Our first episode up. 
Oh, back when we first started the the first like big long costume thing that we did. If you get technical, it was on Reploid Productions, and it was the uh, it was the costume review, like Super Sentai costume review. Yeah. And it was like an hour and 20 minute episode or some shit like that. That when we changed over, we cut up into different the different years and stuff. Hold on, yes. still looking. Yes, when we, when we changed over, we cut it into sections so that these episodes would be easier to watch. And originally, these episodes uh, were quick throwaways. They were like 15 minutes, 20 minutes, maybe. And look at how long this on one is. On the podcast. Now we always make it at least 50 minutes per episode. And people are watching. The podcast, the first one, like the full, like, here's all the way up to, like, Turbo or whatever. Yes, yes, that was our that first was official like, Sentai yeah, review. That was almost three three years ago. Dang! Not a joke. Wow. Almost three years Dang! ago. Dang! Wait, I've been with this group for three years our now? Our show is yeah. old. Wow. Time flies when you're doing nothing. <laughs> Like I said, I blame the fucking fans for that. Like, you guys are fucking awesome. Time, yeah, time moves real fast when you have an ultimate Daizujin. Like, God damn it, like man. if you have the best of possible... <laughs> I think that's where you need to uh, shut this... Costumes, <laughs> costumes. Hey guys, did you like that podcast? If so, remember to check out FandomNight.com. At FandomNight.com, you can drop a line to this show, or you can check out other podcasts as well. We cover all kinds of topics, everything from comic books, wrestling, movies, TV shows, video games, animes, mangas. It's outrageous. We seem to have a podcast for just about everything, and you have access to it just by going over to FandomNight.com. So check it out, guys. We're going to get out of here.